Have you ever heard the story of a woman with a camera who shaped the world of cinema as we know it today? Well, that woman was Alice Guy Blaché, one of the first ever film directors and a trailblazer in the early days of cinema. Today, we're delving into the life of this extraordinary filmmaker. Alice was born in France, 1873. Believe it or not, she started her career as a secretary for a camera manufacturer, Leon Goumont. This is where she discovered her passion for cinema and quickly moved behind the lens to direct one of the first narrative films ever created, La Fille en Choux in 1896. Alice wasn't just making films, she was breaking boundaries. She didn't just see movies as moving photographs, but as a medium to tell stories, just like novels or plays. She played with sound syncing, experimented with color tinting, and even dabbled in special effects. All things that were revolutionary at the time. Alice's films were anything but ordinary. She directed and produced over a thousand films, tackling bold themes and bringing to life stories of love, comedy, and social commentary. She wasn't afraid to challenge the norm and push the limits of what could be shown on screen. Now you may be wondering, why haven't I heard of Alice Guy Blaché? Well, after leaving the film industry in the 1920s, her pioneering contributions were largely forgotten. It's only in recent years that film historians have begun to give Alice the recognition that she deserves. Alice Guy Blaché's story is not just a tale about an extraordinary filmmaker, but also about the many unsung heroes who have shaped the world we live in today. So next time you watch a movie, remember Alice, the woman with a camera who helped pave the way for the cinema that we love and enjoy.